Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. So today I'm going to be doing another empties video and I love doing these because I've used up an entire product so I know how well the product works or doesn't work so I can share all of my thoughts and opinions with you guys. So I have two little baskets here full of products. This is one of the new baskets from Dollar Tree and I absolutely love these. They're perfect for empties so definitely check those out. I feel like I have so many things to share with you guys so let's just get on into it. If you guys have not subscribed yet to my channel, definitely go check that out. Hit the red button down below. Also tap that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. If you love Dollar Tree, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Affordable Beauty, Shop With Me's, Hauls, think I got it all, you will really enjoy my channel. See everything I used up over the past couple months. <laughs> I'm gonna try and go through each one fairly quickly so I don't keep you here all day so I'm gonna really attempt to do that so the first thing I have here is from Alafia I love this brand I did a whole video on them if you guys missed that check it out just such an awesome company all about sustainability and they care for this community in Africa and they provide so many different opportunities to the people in the community like eyeglasses schools bicycles and their ingredients are absolutely amazing they're clean ingredients the neem turmeric clarifying shampoo I loved this whenever i felt like i had a buildup in my hair i would use this the scent would just fill the shower just an amazing brand you can also find a lot of their products that are the old packaging at tj maxx and marshall's highly recommend you guys check them out i've been using so many of their products and i love them they're very multi-purpose as well but i would definitely repurchase this such an awesome brand they really need more love candles are from walmart it's the apple cider donut this is one of the 97 cent candles if you follow me on my dollar tree instagram i posted about these it's at dollar tree dolly this one smells so good the only thing that's annoying is you get like you can only get like that much out of it and then this much you have to use a wax warmer which i don't mind i just have to get the wax out of here and then you can put it in your wax warmer apple cider donut it smells amazing it definitely smells more apple than donut but it has a faint of the sweetness in there it kind of balances out really nicely I would definitely pick up the three wick version of this and if you guys don't know the three wicks at Walmart are only three dollars and 33 cents which is absolutely amazing so I highly recommend checking these out and if you just want to try out one of the scents the 97 cent candles are really really good and they're way better than the Dollar Tree candles I like these a lot better the throw is much greater favorite setting sprays i used up an entire urban decay all-nighter but this is actually the mini size this was from a limited edition collection they did if you guys remember it was the palette that had like all the cities on it but this is one of my favorite setting sprays ever i feel like it just makes my makeup last all day this would be perfect if you had a special event if you were a bride a bridesmaid or just any sort of event a birthday party this is so good that's why i have so many backups of these and i'm very grateful that urban decay sends me these because i go through them pretty quickly and what i actually like to do is I like to double up so i'll use this and then i'll use more of like a dewier kind of setting spray so i used up an entire bottle of dr bright this is from tj maxx you could also find it at marsh this is the chocolate mint you're either gonna love this or you're not gonna like it i personally like it however you have to get used to it because it doesn't have that strong mint scent. It doesn't suds up. So it's not going to give you that like super, super clean feeling like those very clean Colgate mint toothpaste kind of have. It feels a little different, but honestly, even on the back, it says you can literally eat it. Not that you're actually going to eat this toothpaste, but if some gets in your mouth, which always happens when you brush your teeth, it's fine because it's so clean. What I love about this is that it actually has stevia in it which i think is so cool it's very hard i think to find a toothpaste with stevia in it i used up a whole bottle of the not your mother's beach babe texturizing dry shampoo this is the toasted coconut this is my oh, this is my sister's favorite dry shampoo um i love the scent of this one not your mother's is my favorite for their scents they have the warm vanilla sugar one which smells so awesome and i love that it's vanilla and the toasted coconut smells just as good I can still smell it if I spray a little bit. Oh, it's so nice. Um, this I like because not only is it a dry shampoo, but it also has the texturizing factor in it. So it's kind of giving you both in one. Um, I've repurchased this many times before. This is definitely one of my favorite dry shampoos. I feel like it does work really well to keep the oils at bay in my hair or just to freshen up my hair. Next up is a total favorite. I'm going to sing the praises of this to you guys. This is the Tree Hut Coconut Lime Moisturizing Shave Oil. I've only found this in stores at Ulta, and this is actually the only scent you can get coconut lime at Ulta. 
the vanilla one and there's a rose one you have to buy online so i just get this one because i like shopping in store so this is tree hut bear you guys this product is a game changer like my legs after i use this felt so smooth I barely get any nicks or cuts when I use this. I never want to go back to using regular shaving cream again. And I've actually been out of this for like two weeks now because I haven't got a chance to go to Ulta. And I've been using my regular shave cream and it just has not been the same. This is like a product that you will use and you will just end up absolutely loving. So try this out and it feels so good. And another thing I love is how moisturizing it is on my legs. And it doesn't, it's not like... A coconut oil I've tried that in the past and the coconut oil it feels thick it gets stuck in your razor kind of messes with your razor this does not mess with your razor it doesn't get thick and clumpy it's just so smooth and your legs will literally look like the softest thing ever after you use this I don't know what kind of magical ingredients they put in this but it's amazing the only thing is I go through it really quickly and it is pricier it's like $11.99 so that's the downside of it but it's still gonna be a forever repurchase when I can actually get to Ulta and I'm telling you guys game changer you will be obsessed with this tree hot products in a row this is so good I go through these like crazy fast because I literally glob this on my body it's the tree hot banana muffin shea sugar scrub so I loved the scent of this some people were kind of complaining on the Ulta website that it smelled like burnt popcorn it does kind of have like a popcorn kind of scent to it, but I don't mind. I still smell the banana and it still smells so delightful to me and I love it. So I literally just put this all over my body to exfoliate. These are like the best sugar scrubs ever. They feel so good on your body and the scents are amazing. Um, right now I'm using peppermint. I would definitely repurchase the banana, but I think my next one I want to do is the blueberry one. Definitely check these out. They're also at TJ Maxx and Marshalls if you guys ever find them you will love these exfoliators. Used up an entire Sigma foam brush cleaner. I love that this is 100% natural. I use this all the time for my sponges and my brushes with the Sigma mat. I like dupes for that mat on Amazon. I will try and link one down below for you guys. You don't need to get the Sigma one, but I really love that this is a foam and it's just so easy to use and it really cleans my brushes really well. The only thing that's a little annoying is the pump. Like I don't love it. A whole Instagram tutorial with it in my $1 Marshalls clearance haul it's from the cream shop. This mask was so much fun. It has like a little alien face on it and the serum and essence in these. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. Like your face will feel just drenched with moisture and you have so much essence left over to put all over your neck and the rest of your face when you're done. Love this. It just left my skin feeling really hydrated. This product is from VII. It's the Oxygen Eye Mask and you actually are supposed to wear this all night, which I haven't tried yet. I've never worn an eye mask all night long, but I thought this was one of the best eye masks I've ever used because it does not budge. It feels like a Velcro, not like an actual feeling of Velcro, but like just the the way that it stays on your eye it does not budge whereas I have so many issues with these eye gels where they slide around and they're just too slimy and the consistency is too wet and you can't do anything you can't do housework or anything with these I was able to like clean the floor um, make my bed and they do not budge and they just feel so good on the skin and they're not too wet so these are definitely a favorite I think these are a little bit pricey they sent these to me in PR like forever ago but probably one of the best under eye masks I've ever used. Just up a whole bottle of Thayer's Witch Hazel in Cucumber. This is alcohol free. Um, I don't know if I would purchase the cucumber again. It was a little strong for me. I typically get the rose one, which I don't really love the rose either. I think my favorite is probably the coconut, but I wanted to try this one out and it was pretty refreshing. I mean, if you like the scent of cucumber, definitely try this one out. They have so many different scents to choose from. You guys already know my love for this deodorant. It's the Atlanta Body Culinary. This is the cotton candy deodorant. Have to order another one of these. I absolutely love this deodorant. It works like a charm. It works better than any other natural deodorant I've ever used. And it just makes you smell so good. It leaves that cotton candy scent on your clothes. So you don't feel like your pits on your shirt stink when it's the end of the day. Um, I love this so much. The only thing is, again, it goes, oh, it smells so good. It goes so, so quickly. And it does kind of like leave little white spots under your underarms but I mean I wouldn't wear it with like a black shirt but I've tried so many deodorants and I just keep going back to this one it's on Etsy I will link it for you guys it is amazing and it just smells oh, it smells so good where else can you get a cotton candy deodorant use up an entire container of vital proteins collagen I love taking collagen I've been taking it every single day since I started taking it I think it was like 
maybe a month ago and I think you need to use it consistently for like three months to really start to see results. So this is a 10 ounce container. I picked this up at Target. This is definitely one of the more pricier brands, but it's also one of the most accessible brands to buy in store. So this is the Collagen Peptides Unflavored. Uh, this retails for $24.99 at Target and also at Walmart I've seen it. So I don't know how loyal I'm going to stay to Vital Proteins. Like I'm not like, oh, this is the one like you need to use. Like there are other brands that I want to try. And actually since I ran out of this, I started trying the Trader Joe's one, which I'm forgetting the name of it, but it was $10. So a lot cheaper than Vital Proteins. I definitely feel like... I see my skin looking a little glowier. I definitely feel like it makes my nails grow long. I just like feeling like I'm getting extra benefits for my hair, my skin, and my nails. And there's no biotin in it, which is perfect. Okay, moving on to my next little container here. I use up an entire pharmacy very cherry clean cleansing balm. I loved the scent of this. It smelled like a cherry popsicle. It just smelled so amazing. And I wish I could get this again, but it was actually limited edition for BoxyCharm. But I definitely would repurchase the Pharmacy Cleansing Balm. It literally just feels like sherbet. Like it's so creamy. I love the consistency of it. And I know it sounds so weird. But there are different consistencies to different cleansing balms. And this one is definitely one of my favorites I've ever used. It's a favorite when I have two empties. The Pacifica. Hashtag no filter skin focus vegan vitamins. This is my everyday multivitamin. These are actually watermelon flavored. Oh my gosh you guys these taste so good. So, so good. I love, love taking this every day. It's like the happiest part of my night when I get to take these. It's like a little treat. I don't know. I just think it tastes so amazing. So these are, I believe, $16.99. I picked them up at Target. I love these. This is like my favorite vitamin ever. It has vitamin A, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, folate, folic acid, iodine, manganese, and selenium. It's made with organic cane sugar, seaweed extract, hyaluronic acid, which is great for your skin. And I definitely see a difference in my skin when I take these. I will forever keep buying them. I go through them so quickly. 60 in here. So if you're taking two a day, I take them at nighttime. But I'm so happy I found a vitamin that I love so much. And I think you guys would really love these too if you're looking for a multivitamin. Okay, I use this in an Instagram tutorial. It's the Freeman Pretty Arms Toning and Smoothing Sheet Mask. And a lot of people were like, does it actually work? I mean, I felt like it kind of moisturized my arms. I don't know if it toned my arms. I work out, so whatever muscle tone I have is from working out. Um, Not from the Freeman Sheet Mask, but honestly, it was fun to try. So it says it's supposed to help smooth your skin for prettier looking arms. It has water, glycerin, um, let's see, castor oil, uh, camellia sinensis leaf extract. So it doesn't really have too many ingredients in here. Which I so it's definitely something fun to try. It was only $3 at Walmart, so definitely check it out. They also have a butt one, neck one, they have a hand one, a foot one. They have a lot of really fun masks. I actually used up this entire mega cushion from Wet n Wild. So you guys know you can purchase this at Dollar Tree. One of my actual favorites, like dewy, lightweight, everyday foundations. It is so good. Um, you just use a little sponge or you can use a brush to put it on your face. And I love using this foundation. I kind of rediscovered my love for it when it came out at Dollar Tree. And what an amazing find to get for a dollar. So this was actually the original one I purchased when it first came out. And I think it's awesome. I think the packaging is adorable, but most of all, I think it's a great formula if you like just having a medium buildable foundation that just feels really light on your skin, not too heavy. I love this product. It's another Alafia. This is their authentic African black soap. So what I love about this is that it's so multi-purpose. So I would use this in the shower to wash my body. I would also use it to shave my legs. Then I would go and use it to clean my brushes and I'll wash our hands as well. So I would just pour this into our hand soap container when it became empty. Um, this is actually my second big bottle. I had one that was like this big that I went through the entire thing and I would just keep refilling our hand soap with it. So the fact that I could use this product for so many different purposes was like amazing. Um, and that's because the ingredients are so clean. That's why I could go from using this to shave my legs to you can wash your face with it and like I said clean your brushes such a good brush cleaner this also has eucalyptus oil tea tree oil so it's also really good for cleaning your face brushes because tea tree oil we know is really good for fighting acne and bacteria it's made in West Africa and it's basically like their own kind of uh, recipe that they have some Dollar Tree sheet masks this is the Bolero vanilla sugar and raspberry I didn't know what I was gonna think of this one but I actually really loved it the Bolero sheet masks are 
amazing. They are just as good as all the other ones I've tried, like the Cream Shop. Highly recommend these if you're looking for a great sheet mask. I will say, since these are a dollar, I think you can get better deals on sheet masks at Marshalls and TJ Maxx on clearance. Because a lot of times you can get a box of 10 for like $3 clearance and it works out to a better deal than getting these for a dollar. And the Miss Spa Control Blemish Mask. This was also from Dollar Tree. It says it helps heal blemishes, prevent breakouts, and keep skin shine free. I also really enjoyed using this sheet mask. It worked so well and I really feel like it did help to clear up acne that I had. So I would definitely repurchase this and recommend this to you guys if you see this brand at Dollar Tree. This is a great like name brand find. Product I wouldn't repurchase but I did get this in PR. It's the Aveda Sap Moss Weightless Hydration Conditioner. I just didn't think there was anything special about this. It didn't do anything special to my hair. It has a very strong kind of like nature scent which... I didn't love, but again, I just saw really no improvements in my hair from using this. Amige Lip Sleeping Mask in Sweet Candy. I loved the scent of this. It smells so good. I love this one. I hope I can find the full size at TJ Maxx. This is like the only scent that I have not found yet at TJ Maxx, but it smells so good. And then some beauty items. I went through this entire Wet n Wild Creme Brulee eyeshadow. You guys know this is my favorite for setting my eye and highlighting my brow bone. I go through these like water. They are so good. It's like a dollar. I think I actually got this one on clearance at Walmart for like nine cents. Higher Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is like my favorite high-end eyeshadow primer. Do you need it? No, but I do really enjoy using this and I've been using it for like over 10 years and your eyeshadow will just be so vibrant and not budge or crease. Went through a Urban Decay Perversion Waterproof Fine Point Eyeliner. This is another one of the brush tips, which I love. Definitely a great high-end um, brush tip eyeliner if you're looking for one, but at the same time, there's also so many drugstore ones, so I don't think you absolutely need to spend like $25 on this when you can get one that's just as amazing, if not more amazing, for like 4 or $5. Actually, this is the last product I'm going to share with you guys. These I go through really quick, the Stila Glitter and Glows. Now, isn't it so funny? You wouldn't think someone would go through a glitter, but I actually do go through these, like my favorite shades. So I feel like maybe there's not that much product in here. This is a Ballet Baby. I love using this one to put on my inner corner. I'm actually wearing it today. I wear this so much. I have to find another backup at TJ Maxx. I love this because it's like a baby pink with a milky white base. I just think it's so pretty on the eyes. I love having like a pink shimmery lid that's like my favorite with an orange crease. Kind of like I'm wearing today. Um, but I really went through a lot of this. Like it's pretty much, yeah, it's pretty much gone. I have to get a new one. So I'm going to be on the lookout for this. But I stink and love these. I feel like ever since these came out, it's just like loose glitter. Who? We don't know her. Like we are all about using the steel glitter and glows and any sort of like dupes of these. I am, I'm here for it. All right guys, so that is my empties. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything I used up. I absolutely love doing these videos for you guys. And the only thing I don't like is having to keep everything under my desk and it's just like piles of stuff. So that's like the downside to these, but I love giving you guys reviews on products that I've used up and just like things that become my tried and true products. It's just so fun. And I also enjoy seeing other people's empties. So let me know what product you have used up this month. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.